What's going on guys, 40 Brothers here for another video and today we're going to be doing a, uh, a how fix. To. Yeah, how to. So for anyone that doesn't know about our car, we bought this E55 uh, AMG and one of the biggest things we hated about it was the rear sunshade was stuck um, in the up, up, up yeah, position. Yeah. position. And no matter what you do, you couldn't get it. Um, yeah, you could not yeah, get it down. Yeah, even. and uh, the dealer quoted us six six hundred fifty bucks I think just to get it down. Just to get it down, not to yeah. fix it. Just six hundred fifty bucks to get it down. And obviously, we didn't want to spend that. So uh, no. we did all kind of research on forums and whatnot, trying to find a way to fix the problem. We even looked on YouTube for videos. There's no videos. Literally, yeah. found nothing. So we're like, you know, we're gonna try to do this ourselves, and uh, we uh, we succeeded. We successfully did that. Yeah, I, I didn't do. This video is all Matt and uh, our dad, so uh, he's gonna explain everything. Yeah. And I'll be the camera guy once again. Yeah, and all, all it takes is uh, all you need is two things. And here we'll show you those right yeah, now. We'll show you those right now. All right, guys. So as you can see here, our workbench isn't like your standard, you know, uh, one of those deals over there with the wood. We're actually using another another car for our workbench here. So uh, this is literally all you need to fix this. Now I know most people are gonna say you have to take apart the whole like the shelf deck, whatever it's called, in the back. Take the headrests out, take the seats out, all that. You literally have to do none of that. All you need. There's a flashlight so you can see, a uh, set of channel locks, and a Torx T20 bit. Now this might be different depending on what, what model Mercedes you have. And um, here's the screw, that's where I'm gonna get to next. And uh, I'm gonna go in the car and show you exactly what we did to get this thing in the down position. I'm not getting the car in production mode over here. Not enough light. It's like five hundred old cars, no backup camera. You kind of have to just like look around and guess, you know? Yeah, it's damn chill over here blocking all the sun. The car looks good though. We still got lock, all kinds of snow action. Look at this. Oh, the snow. Still like, it's like five degrees. That's good. You like that? Yeah, leave it like that. Alright, all right, so as you can see, we have the, the shade down now, but it was stuck up. Obviously, it's, you know, that was our problem. But one of the things we had a problem here is on this side, we were trying to mess around whenever the thing was up. The arm. The yeah. arm, we were fiddling around with it and we broke it on accident. Well, it, it came disconnected from like the rail that runs all the way across the top. Um, so that made it like 10 times easier for us to fix this problem. But um, so basically what we did was instead of taking this whole piece off down here, this shelf, there's going to be like a set of clips right. Let me see if I can lift it up. Yeah, there's a clip right here and there's one right here. And basically what we did was we just like pulled up on them and i think there's one on each end right here there's one down there and over here so there's like four clips holding that down and the motor is dead center so basically what we did was we lifted up this shelf and then you're gonna see let me see if i can lift up for you guys just make it easier for you you're gonna see um can you, can you see it with the camera like that you gotta zoom in a little you'll bit. be able to see the motor it's like right down in there can you see that i don't know if it's coming out or not but anyways you can kind of see it down in there uh, if yours is broke, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. You're going to see the motor in there, and you're going to see the arms where they meet in the middle. They kind of like crisscross like this. And basically what we did was that little Torx uh, T20 screw was in between, like holding the, the arms to the little gear on the motor. We took that screw out and lifted the arms up. And what that did was that gave us, uh, that gave us um, the ability to just fold the arms in, and it literally wind it right back into its place. Now, obviously, you know, it's not fixed. It's not going to work anymore, but that's okay because we just want it to go down. And, uh, yeah, so the arms are kind of just, like, laying in there freely now. But, uh, nonetheless, it's, like, completely tucked away, and we won't have to worry about that anymore. And it was super, super easy to do. We didn't have to take anything apart, nothing. All we did was take that one screw out, and literally the arms, they folded right in. So it, it made it so easy for us. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and get these uh, windows tinted soon. So Yeah, that was one of the things. When we were looking at yeah. other videos, everybody said you got to take apart this whole thing. Take out the rear seats take over seats here. Out, take rest. out the trunk, headrest. Yeah, and they said the headrest was like, you know, pain in the butt to do. And we said, no, we're not going to do all that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah. so literally, I'll just tell you guys one more time. Literally, all we did was take this shelf off. That's literally all we did, or this back piece right here. Just lifted up on it, took that screw out. And the reason why we had the channel locks is because... They make the little Allen wrenches with the Torx bit, but we didn't have that. All we had was one of those little tiny like drill bits. So we put on the channel locks and it gave us just enough the room to put it in there and then just, you know, quarter turns at a time to get that screw out. And once you get that screw out, you just lift the arms right off the gear and it's going to fold right in. And it literally will only take, you know, a couple minutes at best. <laughs> it was very easy to do. All right, guys. So hopefully this video definitely helped you guys. Uh, anyone has this trouble, yeah. like we said. We looked at forums, we looked at YouTube videos, and nothing was really helpful. We yeah, we didn't really want to we didn't want to take the whole car apart, especially yeah, when it's like it two degrees outside. We wanted an easy fix, yeah. And unfortunately, you know, we couldn't show you guys step by step because we already did it. The best we could do is explain it, but I promise it's it's yeah. very easy to do. All you do is look for that screw in between those two arms. 
unscrew it and lift arms right up. We honestly didn't yeah. expect to even get it down, so that's why we didn't make a video. And then we just like, oh yeah. shoot, we should probably, because you know if we can do it, it, it took us a while. We were messing around with this for two hours. Yeah, but and uh, if but you, if you, you get it done. have the right tools from the beginning, but if you have if you have the right tool from the beginning. It'll probably take you what, like not even a half hour. Yeah, once, very easy to do. once you open up that back piece over there, and, and you'll definitely see what we're talking about, and it'll yeah, be really the easy. The motor is dead center, and you're gonna see the screw. For our car, like I said, it was a Torx uh, T20 uh, bit. Now I know some. I think I saw another car. It was like a just a regular Phillips screw, but it's cold. cold. Yeah, I know it is cold. <laughs> it is cold. But regardless, yeah, it's very easy to do. You guys will figure it out. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, nice tutorial. Yeah, if you have any questions, just let it. Uh, you know, give me a or just leave it in the comments, yeah. and I'll get back to you guys. Yep. All right, take care. Bye.